If you had a chance to watch the knife attacking video, that's good for training purposes, and it's a good thing to work on so when you do come back to class, you'll be able to attack each other better, thus leading to better defense. But really, the defense is what we want. So now I have to imagine the attacker coming in. So if you remember, our long range was a lot of body. This is where we shoot our body in. So if somebody is coming at us and the knife is on my left side, my left hand or my same side hand has to go forward. What I'm trying to do is protect. So for the brown belts, when that attack comes in, I want to shoot my body forward, try to get my arm up and over, putting the knife towards my back. So the training I want to see you do is from that angle one, or from that forehand angle, that you can shoot in for the first one. The second thing you're looking to do is, how do I deal with mid-range? Away, and then shoot in from the opposite side. The person's going to be coming from the other side. From close range, I'm going to pivot, close that out of the way, and then shoot in from the opposite side again, because now the knife is over there. And then from static, the knife is on my neck, I'm going to parry and come in from that same side and make my strikes. Don't forget, shoot, strike, and follow, so you're moving in, you're striking, and you're following the person. If the knife is coming at me from my right side, whether it's a backhand or a left-handed person, I'm going to shoot in and close as much as I can, keeping the knife towards my back for long range. When it's mid-range, I'm going to move back. The knife is now on the opposite side, so I switch and clamp down and make my strikes. For the cross-checking or close range, I'm going to pivot, roll it to the other side, and again, knife's over here, so I stay with my back to that side. And then if it's on this side of my neck, or the, my right side, I'm going to parry and move in entirely from this side. All right? So I'm going to do it in the air. Long range, the knife is coming from here, so imagine this is the attack. Ready? Shoot. In. Long range. Mid-range, evade, attack, and get in. Close range, cross-check, get in. Static, parry, and close. From the backhand position, long range, shoot in and over. From mid-range, evade, and attack. Noticing we're switching because the knife is now on our back. From close range, cross check parry. Again, knife is towards the left, so I'm going to stay this way for my strikes. And then from static, parry out of the way and shoot in with your strikes. For any of the linear strikes, you're going to work on a couple different things. One of them was we referred to as monkey arms, letting your arms stay low. If your hands are already down and someone is thrusting at you, you're either going to end up on the outside or the inside, depending on left and right. It might depend on where your feet are or where you are in the room. If your arms are up, you're not going to be pairing, drop your arms and then go across. That's probably when you're more likely to cross check. So typically, mid-range, straight thrust, is the same as long range, and it could be the same as close range. But if my hands are up into this position for whatever reason, and the person thrusts, I then can cross check and make sure I move in on the correct side. Anything that's linear, that's on my body, someone's holding a knife to my stomach, again, I can parry inside or outside, making sure you're careful not to expose the wrist to the blade. I would move, and then I would slide in. If you felt more comfortable doing it with the back of the hand, so be it, move, and again, go in, or from the opposite side, and go in. So we can train our weapon defense without a partner. You just have to go through the cycles, and as brown belts, Try doing long, mid, close, and static in series so that you can get comfortable reading and feeling the difference.